hey guys good news and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm bringing you good news because the government of canada is planning to increase postgraduate work permits for international students so of course we all know the benefit of increasing postgraduate work permit for international students that way we will have a lot of time to prepare our pr and get our pr ready Okay, so if you do not know, when you come into Canada as an international student, upon graduation from school, you need to apply for postgraduate work permit. So postgraduate work permit is that time that is set aside for you to apply for your PR and wait for your PR to be ready before you get your PR and then subsequently move into your citizenship. Okay, so in this video, I'll be sharing with you the news and plans of how the government of Canada plans to increase postgraduate work permits. Are you ready? Let's go there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get... Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to another interesting video. So guys, yes, so the government of Canada is planning to uh, increase postgraduate work permit for international students who leave their home country to come to Canada to study. So before now, most times when people apply for postgraduate work permit, they believe that that time, that period of time is not usually enough for them to like prepare for their uh, PR or the application process for most PRs, you know, take longer time. So like I have instances of friends that applied for their PR and the tenor of time they were given for their postgraduate work permit was not enough. So basically their postgraduate work permit expired and still their PR wasn't out. You, you can get that dilemma, right? You can figure that kind of situation. So because because of these and many more other reasons, Macmillan, the minister for IRCC, has come out with this good news that they may, and when they say they may, it's a very positive one, they may increase the postgraduate work permit here in Canada for international students who come to study in Canada. So at the moment, specific provinces are actually the ones that started out this um, this talking to Mark Miller about this postgraduate work permit palaver and all of that. They were saying like it's affecting basically people who are in the healthcare sector and people who are in specific trade. So upon graduation from their place of study and they start working and they apply for PR, their PR is usually not ready as at the time their postgraduate work permit expires so this is the reason why mac miller has said that he is going to promise he's promising that people in healthcare sector and people who are in other certain trades which they are yet to mention will get longer postgraduate uh work permit tenure and then he's encouraging other provinces if possible you know follow up with him bring out data be able to prove data that can show that these particular ones are having these issues of by the time they are done with their postgraduate work permit and they apply for their pr process their pr is usually not ready before the expiration of their postgraduate work permit so all of this were basically discussed in a meeting and that meeting included mac miller the ircc minister and a host of other provincial and territorial ministers in a meeting called the forum ministers responsible for immigration so these people are like they are like basically what i say they are in charge of bringing in people into into canada like anything that has to do with immigration like bringing people into the country these are all of their group this is all of their parapos so they all had a combined joint meeting and they are deciding to speak on behalf of immigrants they went ahead in this meeting to discuss the benefits they are getting from immigrants who come into the country guys as I'm telling you, do you know that we immigrants, we play a very important, like a very crucial role here in Canada because we left our home country and came into this country. We are working so hard and our effort is paying off in the country. 
because we left our home country and we came here to Canada to study and after study we started working and while we are working Canada is also benefiting from the workforce that they are getting from us because all of these benefits will also accrue to the development of Canada to ensure that they are not short staffed in certain areas or if possible in most areas of the country. So you see that immigrants, we are working in different sectors of the economy and as a result, the country is developing and things are getting better. They also went ahead to describe some processes. There's a new policy they developed recently and that policy, I'm going to take a critical look at that and I might bring you up that, about that later. And that will be how they want to help asylum seekers, right? We all knew some period ago, I think I made a video on that. They had a lot of asylum seekers and their asylum claims uh, weren't approved. So they plan to deport those ones back to their home country but on further consideration they decide to use another six months to look into their case and see if their claims will be granted for them to be given asylum. So in this new policy that the Canadian government just implemented, they are going to take a critical look on how to help asylum seekers to ensure that their asylum claims is being approved. So to you who is already here in Canada on asylum, do not give up your hope, okay? Do not give up your hope. Let's be hopeful that this new policy they are uh, they just developed, it's going to be very favorable to you and your asylum would be granted. Basically, as a result, all territories and all provinces, they just have to give the proper data to Macmillan, okay? Because he needs the specification, he needs the rate, he needs the number of people, number of postgraduate work permit holders that plan to transit into a permanent residence so that that way he will be able to make allocation for every of them as he plans to carry out these new plans that he has to extend their postgraduate work permits. I just hope that everyone who is involved in the process whereby their postgraduate work permit is not enough before they apply to for their PR or before their PR is out. I hope everyone is going to benefit from this new development including me like i also wish to benefit from this process and as always i'll always bring to you guys the gist as it is hot so the truth of the matter now is that we just need to be hopeful we just need to be prayerful that everything will work out for the good best and benefit of everyone because this is not a disadvantage this is going to be an advantage to everyone do you know what it is or do you know how it feels when you have a longer postgraduate work permit like you have the time to be a temporary resident in canada while you patiently wait for your pr to be out guys i want to tell you something do you know that the process of your pr to be out is not it's not really specified like you guys might be like three friends or like four four friends that applied for your PR on the same day. I might even say four friends. Let me talk about the reality. Like I have a couple of friends, okay? They applied in the same month, right? Now, having applied in the same month, two of them, they got their, their, their PR approved in two weeks. Can you believe it? Two got their PRs approved in two weeks. Another one got her PR approved in four months. Another one got his PR approved in one year. And another one, it's 18 months now, he hasn't gotten his PR yet. 18 months, he has not gotten his PR. And his postgraduate work permit has expired. Really, I do not really know how he extended it if he extended it or if he submitted a web form to immigration but for the benefit of people like this i also hope as they are looking into sectors like the healthcare sectors and other certain trades which they have not specified i hope it will be spread to all trades like to everyone basically and guys trust me as they are releasing all of this information i promise to bring out this information to you so if you're watching this video for the first time 
If you're seeing this face for the first time, guys, I am Diamonds in Nation. I bring out the best of the news, information, my life, my faith here in Canada. Healthy immigration tips based on my own experience on how I came here to Canada. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe like and share share this video with everyone that you know and drop all of your comments in the comment section um are you an international student who has already applied for your postgraduate work permit let us know in the comment section when you are expecting your pr to be out or when you applied for your postgraduate work permit are you in your home country watching this video for the first time and you inspire to come into canada in a few weeks time in a few months time or in the nearest future let us also see your comments on the comment section on any aspect or any questions about anything related to what I have said. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Take good care. Bye. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay